Welcome back to the viewers. President Al Fatah Sisi held a number of meetings with high ranking Greek, Greek officials in Athens on the third day of his visit. The President uh, Sisi visited the Greek Parliament and held talks with the Parliament Speaker. He also met with Greek Environment Minister and former Greek Prime Minister and current President of the Syriza Party, uh, Alex Tispras. More details in the following detail report. day visit to Greece. On the third day of his visit, President El Sisi visited the Greek Parliament and held talks with the Parliament Speaker. During the meeting, the President reaffirmed the strength of the Egyptian-Greek relations. He said that the demarcation of the maritime borders between the two countries came in line with the international law and norms. The President also expressed his deep condolences for the Greek people for the victims of the earthquake that hit the area two weeks ago. He also expressed wishes of speedy recovery for the injured. The President invited the Parliament Speaker to visit Egypt and expressed gratitude for the warm welcome he received. For his part, the Parliament Speaker said that Egyptian-Greek border demarcation deal, which was approved by the Parliament, came in line with the UN Charter. He noted that the Parliament will vote on Thursday on an Egyptian-Greek separate tourism deal. President El Sisi also met with Greek Environment Minister Kostas Hitsidakis in Athens. El Sisi stressed on the importance of Egypt gives to boosting cooperation with Greece in the fields of ordinary new and renewable energy, especially after establishing East Mediterranean Gas Forum and signing its document by the member states, in addition to the demarcation of sea borders agreement signed recently. President El Sisi also met with former Greek Prime Minister and current President of Syriza Party Alexis Tsipras on Thursday. During the meeting, El Sisi expressed hope to continue consultations between the two countries on regional developments. On his side, Tsipras said Greece welcomes and appreciates developing relations with Egypt in all fields in the light of Egypt's pivotal role in the Middle East and the East Mediterranean being a cornerstone of security and stability of the region. The meeting tackled points of view on different political issues in the region, especially of Libya and developments in the Middle East. Earlier on Wednesday, President Abdel Fattah Sisi attended a dinner banquet that the Greek president held for his honor. President Sisi said the cultural ties that bind Cairo and Athens make both countries a bridge for dialogue and cooperation between the Arab world and the European continent. He added that such a bond makes them responsible for spreading the principles of peace, tolerance, the rejection of violence, and mutual respect among the peoples of the Mediterranean. President Sisi confirmed his visit comes at a time where bilateral relations are witnessing a momentum to achieve the aspirations of both peoples of Egypt and Greece. Earlier in the day, President Abdel Fattah Sisi held talks with his Greek counterpart Katerina Sekilaropolo at the Presidential Palace in Athens. During the meeting, the President reaffirmed Egypt's supporting stance towards Greece against any escalations that would threaten its borders and its interests in the eastern Mediterranean. President Sisi confirmed that combating terrorism and extremism is not linked to any religion or culture. For her part, the Greek president hailed President Sisi's visit, asserting the profound historical ties that bind the two nations. Also on Wednesday, President Fatah Sisi held talks with Prime Minister with the Greek Prime Minister of Greece, uh, Kyriakos uh, Mitsotakis, uh, that focused on bilateral ties and regional and international issues of, much, of mutual concern, including combating illegal immigration and the latest developments in the Eastern Mediterranean, as well as to combat terrorism and extremism, extremism uh, though. 
uh, after their talks, the two leaders held a joint conference during which President Sisi said that Egypt and Greece agreed to cooperate to face all threats ch challenging the regional security. Concerning the Libyan crisis, the President said that comprehensive settlement is the only way to end the Libyan crisis. For his part, the Greek Prime Minister in Egyptian Greek relation uh, is an example of cooperation that was coined by signing maritime demarcation Markation deal with Sotakis reiterated that Egypt plays a pivotal role in combating illegal immigration from Africa to Europe, as well as a significant role in realizing peace and stability in the region. <coughs> And for more on President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi's visit to Greece, we're delighted to be joined over the telephone by Dr. Nadim Samna, the economic expert. It's a very good afternoon to you, Doctor. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us, sir. Now, what are the main fields of economic cooperation between Egypt and Greece, both on the bilateral level and uh, the three-way track with Cyprus? Uh, so definitely, uh, uh, the huge reserves of uh, gas in the East Mediterranean is the main uh, uh, topic of interest between uh, Egypt, uh, Cyprus, and Greece. So uh, uh, the three countries are discussing how to make the best out of it and uh, how to uh, use this, um, let's say, detected wealth uh, to the best interest of the country. Indeed. Doctor, how do you see the latest sea border demarcation deal that was signed boosting cooperation between the two states, uh, specifically in the field of energy? Well, it shows that uh, there is an understanding between the two states. Uh, there is a comprehension, and uh, it, it shows those willingness to cooperate uh, in future development, future economic development. Mm -hmm. Right. And do you see the main energy projects that are carried out uh, in cooperation between the two countries as having uh, a further strength after the latest visit by President Abdel Fattah al Sisi? Well, we can see that uh, there is a number of visits, a number of uh, contacts between the two countries, uh, many, many uh, contacts in the last uh, weeks and months. So uh, I believe that they are discussing a number of other uh, fields to cooperate with. And, uh, well, we are neighbors, and uh, there is a historic uh, ties between uh, Egypt and Greece. Uh, so it is uh, perfectly normal to discuss uh, even a wider cooperation, but definitely uh, it is uh, the first, I mean, I guess it is the first concern of the two countries and, and uh, of course, Cyprus. And uh, once uh, it becomes a success, I mean, uh, implemented, implemented on the ground and uh, the, the expert, three experts, and this is the setup that is uh, explained, uh, becomes a reality, and uh, liquid, uh, liquid gas is uh, reported to Europe, mm -hmm. large quantity, mm -hmm. it will become a reality, and yes. then they can explore other, the other fields of cooperation. Indeed. Dr. Nadim Samna, the economic expert, thank you very much, sir, for joining us and for your insight. Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli inspected on Thursday a number of ongoing national projects in Port Said Governorate. Madbouli visited a new vendor's market where he praised the outstanding achievement of establishing such a civilized and organized market which helps in improving living conditions for its workers and citizens as well. The Premier also toured the Technological Center and the Information Center of uh, Utilities Networks that aims at preserving the infrastructure. The Cabinet's Medical Committee announced an agreement with the vaccine alliance Gavi to provide Egypt with 20 million doses of coronavirus vaccines that might get an emergency approval from the World Health Organization. Ministers attending the meeting said high-risk people, including doctors, elders and people suffering from chronic diseases, will be given priority to get vaccinated. The meeting chaired by the Prime Minister discussed developments on promising vaccines recently announced in order for Egypt to be able to secure enough doses from the vaccinations that would obtain authorization from the World Health Organization.
Egypt has on Wednesday reported 227 new coronavirus infections, bringing the total number of cases to 109,881 people since the outbreak hit the country in the middle of February. The health ministry also reported 11 new fatalities, bringing the total number of fatalities to 6,000. 405. The ministry added that 97 patients were discharged from quarantine hospitals, increasing the number of those who have recovered to 1,439 people.